I want uh, to take a few moments today tomar unos minutos hoy to talk to you about what we just read para hablar de lo que acabamos de leer. in a very special message I prepare. Un mensaje muy especial que he preparado para usted. And here is the question of the hour. Esta es la pregunta de hoy. Especially as we watch what's happening all over the world, all throughout the world right now. Principalmente mientras miramos los acontecimientos alrededor del mundo. We have to ask the question: Are you the remnant? Are we the remnant? Hacemos la pregunta: ¿Somos nosotros el remanente? And I want to talk to you today about cell phones. Quiero hablarle acerca de celulares. The title of the message today: The Three Phones of the Rifka Remnant. El mensaje de hoy se titula Los Tres Teléfonos del How many of you have cell phones? How many of you have two cell phones? Anybody have two cell phones? Anybody have three? Why the children have two cell phones? That, that's all what I want to know. Why the kids have two cell phones? Yeah, I, I just recently got a cell phone to Noah this last year and he discovers WhatsApp. Anybody have three cell phones? Four. Four. Okay. You know the old joke. It's about the Pope. You're already laughing, I didn't tell the story. Man, I like this guy. He's laughing so hard, I didn't even give the joke. Wait until the end of the joke. Maybe it's not that good. But anyway, I'll tell you the joke anyway, since you laugh so much. So, you know, the, the, the Pope come and he, he visit Israel. And then the Israeli chief rabbi go to, go to the Vatican. Y el ministro de Israel fue al Vaticano con el Papa. And they talk about the matter of God, heavy, deep things. Hablaron de asuntos de Dios, muy, muy cosas muy importantes. El chief rabbi, Rabbi Lau, el jefe rabí de Israel, le dijo al Papa, Listen, listen, I need to consult with God on this important topic. Necesito consultar con Dios de este asunto que estamos hablando. How can I make a phone call to God? ¿Cómo le puedo hacer una llamada a Dios? He said, no problem, we are in the Vatican. He gave him a few, few shekels. He said, go around the corner, make a phone call to God in the cathedral, in St. Peter Cathedral. You know? Well, Chief Rabbi went, make a phone call to God, came back. A month later, the Pope come to Yerushalayim. Ahora el Papa fue a Jerusalén. It's a real story. It's not a... <laughs> real. And they're in the hotel. They're in the Western Wall. Están ahí en el hotel, en el Muro de los and they're talking about the Western Wall. They're talking about the Temple Mount. Something important. The Pope says to, to Chief Reban, wait, wait. I, I need to make a phone call to God. Dice el Papa. Espérate, espérate, necesito hacer una llamada. How can I make a phone call to God? ¿Cómo le puedo hacer esa llamada a Dios? The chief rabbi look at him. Le dice el rabino, Say, you don't need money. No necesitas dinero. Here it's a local call. Aquí es una llamada local. I want to talk to you today about Quiero hablarle hoy acerca about the local phone number of God. Acerca del número local de Dios. How many of you want a phone call that God is on the other line and he answers all the time? How many of you want this? ¿Quién quisiera tener ese teléfono que cada que usted lo levanta, Dios contesta del otro lado? This is the exact topic of the entire book of Leviticus. Este es el tópico del todo el libro del Levítico. How do we get the local phone number of God? ¿Cómo tenemos el número telefónico de Dios? Now the Torah portion this week esta porción de Torah esta semana, and the book name start with the same word. Y el libro empieza con la misma palabra. Vaikra. Vaikra. 
Now, when you tell you what they cry, what is the first connotation that comes to your mind? Beloved, this is important. What is the first connotation that comes to your mind when you read the word Vayikra? Cuando lees esa palabra Vayikra, ¿qué es lo primero que le viene a la mente? The first thing that comes to my mind is being called to the principal office. Lo primero que se me ocurre a mí es que me llamaron a la oficina del director. Right? God is calling you. It cannot be good. It's like a detention call. After all, if God is calling, it's it's a it's a serious issue, right? The word vaikra in Hebrew appears to be something very negative, something very stern, something very serious. Y esa palabra aparece en, en hebreo algo muy muy serio. I want to tell you some good news today. Escucha estas buenas noticias. The entire message of Vaikra. El mensaje entero del libro de Vaikra. Of being called by God. De ser llamado por Dios. It's the exact opposite. Es totalmente lo contrario. God is not calling because he is angry or upset. Dios no está llamando porque está enojado. He calls because he loves. Sino porque él ama. Do you know what he do when he's angry? ¿Sabes lo que hace cuando está molesto? He turns his face. El vuel vuel es so when God is calling, Dios llama, and when He calls with His own number, llama con su teléfono, it's always good news. Son Today I want to talk to you about how to pick up the phone de cómo el and talk to God. Y con Dios. This is important es because the remnant. Because, has to have not one cell phone. That's why I was asking you this morning. The remnant not going to have one cell phone. Tiene not one. El remanente no tiene que tener solamente un teléfono. Not two. Ni dos teléfonos. But it's going to have three phone numbers que, that God is going to call you in. Sino que tiene que tener tres diferentes números de teléfonos por los cuales Dios le va a llamar. Look at what it's saying at the beginning of the portion, yes? Mire que dice aquí al principio de la porción. Vaikra el Moshe vaidaber Adonai. He called Moses and he spoke to him. Habló a Moisés y le habló. Lo llamó y le habló. And notice where he's speaking to him from, from a place that is called Oel Moed, the tent of meeting. Le está hablando de un lugar que se llama la tienda de reunión, Oel Moed. Which is important. What is the tent of meeting? He's inside the holy of the holy of the holiest place. Que es la tienda de reunión. Está dentro del lugar más santo, del lugar santísimo. It cannot be a good thing if God is calling me from the holy to the holiest. To the holy. It cannot be good. No parece que no fuera algo bueno si Dios me está llamando directamente del lugar más santísimo. God is holy. Él es santo. His name is holy. Su nombre es santo. Everything about Hashem is holy. Todo acerca de él es santo. Do you think he's going to call somebody who is unholy? ¿Usted cree que voy a llamar a alguien que no es santo? No way. De ninguna manera. God is set apart. Who is God going to call? God is going to call people who are set apart. Dios va a llamar a gente que se han apartado de lo malo. And here you have a prototype of a remnant. Y aquí ya tiene un prototipo de un remanente. A remnant it can be some as, as little as one, as one person. Un remanente puede ser tan pequeño como una sola persona. Moshe represent the remnant of Israel, okay? Moshe representa el remanente de Israel. And you have to understand to have a remnant you need one person who can kill the entire community. Tenemos que entender que para que el remanente solamente necesita ser una persona que pueda regar toda la comunidad. If you read what came before Leviticus round, you read the end of the of the book of Exodus. Si usted lee lo que está anterior de Levítico, al final del libro de Éxodo. We're kind of a, we're kind of in a limbo as people. Parece que estamos como en el limbo. Chapter Exodus 25, reminding you, start 25 Exodus. El capítulo 28 de Éxodo. God tell us to build a tabernacle. Nos recuerda el capítulo 25. For 15 chapters, we are reading about the tabernacle. Construimos un tabernáculo durante 15 capítulos en la Torá de Dios. And then. Three months later, y después, tres meses después, they build the tabernacle. Construyeron el tabernáculo. They build all the clothing for Aaron. Construyeron, uh, toda la to prepare para... for inauguration, there is an inauguration of the high priest. Para prepararse para la inauguración del sumo sacerdote. And this is an important portion of the Vaikra. Esta porción de Vaikra es una porción muy importante. Because he 
It's the very first time we see in the Bible the word Mashiach first. La primera vez en la Biblia que se vemos la palabra Mashiach. You wonder where the term Mashiach come from? It's come from this Torah portion. Quieres saber de dónde viene la palabra Mashiach? Viene de esta porción de la Torah. And who is the one who is called Mashiach? Is Aaron. Y a quién es al que se le llama Mashiach? Es Aaron. So they're building the tabernacle where they're dressing Aaron. Están construyendo el tabernáculo, están vistiendo a Aarón. And it says they brought all the pieces of of the tabernacle to Moses. Y trajeron todas las piezas del tabernáculo a Moisés. And it's not built. Y no está construido. It's a flipping disaster. Es un desastre. The tabernacle is a picture of the universe. It's a picture of our world, okay? El tabernáculo es una imagen del universo, de nuestro mundo. And the world is broken. But Moses blessing them anyway. Because they have given the best effort that they have to give. So the tabernacle is established. And now something big is about to happen. We are about to see the inauguration of the Messiah. The Messiah has to be dressed and wear the right attire. Remember, Israel still yet to receive the atonement for the golden calf yet because they have not started the 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 sacrificial system as we know it. Israel todavía tiene que recibir la expiación por el pecado del becerro de oro porque todavía no han empezado los sacrificios. We are like in a limbo as a people. Estamos como en un limbo como Kind of like where we are right now. Así como ahorita en la actualidad. Yeshua is yet to return. Yeshua todavía tiene que venir. We know his inauguration is coming, right? Sabemos que la inauguración But he is yet to come back. Pero tiene que volver. Yet we are preparing for his coming. Y nos estamos preparando para su venida. And that is why God called Moses. Por eso es que Dios llamó a Moisés. He take one individual and call him to give him again the big picture. Hey Moses, I'm going to tell you the big picture of what's coming. Lo estoy llamando para mostrarle toda la figura completa de lo que va a suceder más adelante. And this is important for all of us. I'm telling you something. A lot of us will get lost in the days ahead. Many people will fall in the days ahead. Esto es muy importante y como dice muchos de nosotros se van a perder. Muchos van a perder. Unless we have the local phone number of God Himself. A menos que tengamos ese número local para llamar. So we got to go by Christ. Caller ID. Caller ID said God. Tenemos la palabra y el identificador de llamadas dice Dios. And you have to ask yourself those four important questions. Preguntas estas preguntas. What is the nature of the phone call of God? ¿Cuál es la naturaleza de una llamada de parte de Dios? Why? What is the purpose of the call? ¿Cuál es el propósito de la llamada? Here is a big one. Who called Moses? ¿Quién llamó a Moisés? Now you say, well, that's obvious. It says God called Moses. Es obvio que Dios llamó a Moisés. Oh yeah. Sí. We'll go and see in a second. Who is really the one who called Moses? ¿Quién es el que realmente llamó a Moisés? And most importantly, y más importante, how do I answer the call of God? ¿Cómo contesto esa llamada? I want to change the way you think about hearing God's voice. This is very important. Quiero que usted cambie la manera en cómo considera que Dios le habla. Esto es muy importante. Remember what I told you a minute ago. To hear the voice of God is very scary. If you ever heard the voice of God, you know how terrifying it can be. Como le dije ahorita, escuchar la voz de Dios es algo ter terrorífico. Escuchar que Dios le llama. But look at the Hebrew word Vayikra with me for a moment. Pero mire la palabra hebrea Vayikra. The Hebrew word for Vayikra. Have another word that is embedded inside the word Vayikra. Tiene otra palabra que está contenida dentro de ella. It's the Hebrew word Yakar. La palabra Yakar. The word Yakar means dear. Significa querido. It means precious. It means beloved. Algo muy amado. It means important. Algo importante. It means expensive. Algo que es caro. Let me tell you, brothers and sisters, when you hear God's voice. Cuando usted oye la voz de Dios. He put those words, dear, and put your name. Él le puso esas palabras, mi querido, y luego el nombre. Beloved, and put your name. Mi amado, y luego el nombre. Precious, and put your name. Precioso, y puso el nombre. When you hear the voice of God, you need to rejoice, not to be scared, not to be afraid. It means there is some really good news around the corner. Cuando estoy en la voz de Dios, no es para estar asustado, para estar atemorizado. Quiere decir que hay muy buenas noticias que vienen para usted. Now, in order 
to do this, this is very important. You need to have the right cell phone. Ahora, para poder hacer eso, hay que tener el celular correcto. How many of you actually, I, you know, I'm, who, who had the very, you remember the old cell phones? ¿Recuerdas los teléfonos viejitos? Now let me remind you. Así como ese. This is officially the very first cell phone that ever created. Ese es oficialmente el primer teléfono celular. Anybody want to guess what year this cell phone belonged to? ¿Sabe qué año es eso? Guess. 1990? I don't think so. 1973. 1973. 1973. Motorola. Motorola 1973. In order to charge this particular phone. Para poder cargar este. By the way, the price of this phone. In 1973, is $10,000. dollars Yes, 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 indeed. And to charge this phone, you need a room this size to charge this device. This is the ancient of the ancient. Is the phone from the past? This is the most ancient thing that exists. This is called del pasado. Then in 1985 we really evolved. Y luego en el 85 realmente evolucionamos. In a company by the name of Siemens. Una compañía de nombre Siemens. The company named Siemens put this phone in place. Shani, please keep up with me. Puso This is important. Puso en circulación. So instead of charging it in in a room, you could have taken it this way. 28 pounds on a suitcase. Así que en vez de cargarlo en un cuarto grandísimo, traía esta batería de 28. So we went to from that to that. That's pretty good. That's an evolution. Ya estamos evolucionando ahí. Now where are we today? Estamos hoy. Before we get to today, you know what this is? ¿Sabes qué es eso? Look at the next one. This is 1995. Shani, please put those slides. 1995. This is the very first phone that had the touch buttons. You see, the other phones you could only receive calls. But this phone was the phone that you are able to actually make phone calls because it had the touch buttons. Porque este era el primer teléfono que usted podía hacer llamadas porque tenía esos botoncitos. And here we are in 2022. Y ahora en el 2022. Today. Ahora. Look at this. Today we are making phones that are folding. Tenemos teléfonos que se doblan. But you know what? You know what they're working on nowadays? You know what's going to be the next generation of phone? Listen, brothers, this is no joke. They make phones today. They're going to have a chip. A chip that you don't even need a physical phone. It will be in your palm. It will be a virtual thing. And this is the future. It's pretty amazing, actually. Some of you look, look at me and say, "What on earth?" And here is the question. Next slide. That you and I have to ask ourselves. How many phones did Moses had in his possession to be able to hear the voice of God? None. I'm not sure if I agree with that. Are you ready? Actually, Moses had three phones. Moses tenía tres teléfonos. Look what the rabbis of Israel are telling us, beloved. Pay attention. The word Vayikra is the word 
that represent the glory of God. When he's calling him, he's calling him to glory, to kavod. Es la palabra que representa la gloria de Dios cuando él le llamó. And I want to tell you something amazing. This is the word that is used by the angels of God who said. Esta es la, la voz que usan los ángeles de Dios que dicen. Remember Isaiah chapter 6 when the angels see God, what do they say? En Isaías capítulo 6 cuando los ángeles ven a Dios que dicen. They will call one another. Se llaman unos a otros. And say Kadosh, Kadosh. Kadosh. Kadosh, 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 Santo, Santo, this is, is important because the same word is using here in the text. The word that is used here in the text to describe the type of calling is the word Vaikra, which really saying that God wants saying to Moses, I want to restore glory that I possess. When God says Vayikra el Moshe, when he is calling Moses, here's what God is saying. I want to restore that the glory that is found on me the glory that is in me, God says, I want to impart a small part of it on you. What an, what an amazing God we serve that he wants to take a piece of the glory that is on him and he wants to put it on me and you. What an amazing God. Because this language, Vaikra, is the words of angels. It's a language of angels. Este lenguaje Vayikra es un lenguaje celestial, es lo que los ángeles utilizan. Now this is important. He is calling him, saying, Moses, I want to glorify you for a purpose. He doesn't want to glorify anybody with no purpose. There's a purpose to all of this. Está a Moisés y le dice, quiero glorificarme en ti con un propósito. Dios no llama a nadie para glorificarse sin ningún. And what is the purpose? ¿Y cuál es ese propósito? This is the key. This is the critical thing. Because I want to clarify something here about to you. I want to explain something to you, Moses. Oh, Moses, you're going through the trenches. You deal with those people with golden calves. Mishkan. You're in the trenches. You you can lose vision. And I think in the last days, a lot of us have the potential to lose the vision. How do we lose vision if we're if we are stuck in the trenches and we don't understand the big picture and we're stuck in Bamidbar without the Geula? Then then we can lose hope. Perdemos la visión si estamos atrincherados y, y dejamos de ver la, la, el panorama completo. The remnant has to have the big picture. El remanente tiene que ver el panorama completo. So God says, let me, Moses, I'm calling you. Entonces Dios le dice a Moisés, mira, te estoy llamando. I am going to impart my glory on you. Voy a impartir mi gloria sobre ti. That you will understand. Para que tú puedas entender. I want to give you chokma. I want to give you bina. I want to give you dad. I want to give you revelation. Quiero darte todos esos atributos de Dios, chokma, bina, revelación. You know, we can practice star. We can do everything, but unless we have the understanding of what is happening right now, what good is any? of this tenemos que aplicar Torah pero también tenemos que tener un entendimiento de qué es lo que está sucediendo a nuestro alrededor so he's pulling Moses aside entonces llama a Moisés acá una and he said let's go to the local shawarma place just you and I we're going to sit we're going to talk about things y le dice vamos a este lugarcito aquí tú y yo y vamos a hablar de unas cosas interesantes he tell him let's go to the tent of meeting vamos al tabernáculo de reunión and I am going to explain to you the Essence of why you are in the exile now? Why I'm asking you to build a Mishkan? And what is the future of the Jewish people? How many of you want to have that kind of knowledge? Does anybody here doesn't want this kind of understanding and revelation? Come on! That's what we seek, understanding, revelation. Listen to what Rabbi Rabbi Nubachia said. 
Mira lo que nuestro rabino Bajia dice. You said we must conclude. This is amazing. Debemos concluir. That the word Vayikra, the yes. nature of the word Vayikra, que de la palabra Vayikra, to the prophet, esa palabra cuando se llamó al profeta, is to have three rings, ringtones, like a ringtones. Podemos que tener tres diferentes tonos. That will be given to clarify the item that are the roots of the Torah and our faith. Y cada uno de estos tonos son dados para clarificar cada elemento que son las raíces de la Torah. So what is really is happening here is God has never called. He's never going to call you. Entonces mire, lo que está pasando es que Dios nunca le va a llamar. If it is just for ambiguous things, he is not calling Moses and into into the tent of meeting just to have a casual chat with him. No le va a llamar solamente para cosas triviales. No llamó a Moisés para estar dentro del tabernáculo. And this is important. We are talking about you today, returning to the faith, returning to the root of your faith, right? Y esto es lo que estamos hablando, retornando nuestra fe a la raíz de nuestra fe. No, pero what Maria says is, he is doing this so that we will be rooted properly. Y nos está diciendo que tenemos, está llamando para que podamos tener Moses, 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 listen to me, Moses. You are going to be uprooted in an incorrect way if you don't get the big, the big picture. Le dice, mira, Moses, te vas a enraizar de la manera incorrecta si no te das cuenta de. That's when we fall into legalism. Así es como caemos en legalismo. And that's when we fall into religion. And he want to make sure that either Moses or the children of Israel, because you see, you notice how many details. How much work do they do? How many details? Hay demasiados detalles ahí que Dios le dio a Moisés y Moisés a los hijos de Israel. And this is today. This is a weekend about the Sephardim, right? Esto es un fin de semana acerca de los Sephardim. I go so much in Latin America. Yo he ido tanto a Latino América. And I see so much of the Sephardim trying to act like Orthodox Jews. Y muchos de ellos están tratando de ser judíos ortodoxos. And I ask him, do you know why you're doing what you're doing? Y le digo, ¿sabes lo que estás haciendo o por qué lo haces? You cover your head with a talit. Why are you doing this? Te pones un talit en tu cabeza. ¿Por qué lo haces? Mm, I have no clue. No sé, no tengo idea. I have no idea. Because the other person is doing this. Porque el vecino lo está haciendo. Why are you doing this? Do you know what you're doing? No, no, I don't know why I'm doing it. No, no, just because other people around me doing it. You see, that, that is very dangerous. Because there is reality of building the kingdom of God around details. Torah is details. You cannot spiritualize and say I'm a Sabbath keeper and not understand the laws of Halakha. Halakha is details. No puede decir usted, yo guardo el Shabbat correctamente y ni siquiera entiende la ley de Allah. But you can know all the details. Pero tampoco puede saber todos los detalles. And miss the big picture. Y perderse el panorama completo. So he is pulling into the tent of meeting. He said, listen, Moses, I need to explain to you what is going on here in the wilderness. Así que lo llama a la tienda de reunión y le dice. And remember, the wilderness is the time that come before the redemption, before the geula. You are still, this is like our time today. Este es el tiempo que está en, en medio de la redención. Este es nuestro tiempo que vive. This weekend I'm talking about the Rif remnant, about the remnant. If the remnant doesn't know why they're doing things, and they just, oh, I'm living Christianity. But why? Y, y estábamos hablando acerca del tiempo del remanente. Muchas personas dicen, oye, ahora estoy dejando atrás el cristianismo y otras cosas. Dicen, I'm living the lies, but why? Why are you to do these things? Qué estás haciendo estas cosas? You're to do those first and foremost. Primeramente. And look at the words that is used here. That the items of the roots of the Torah. And the, he wants to explain to him, in essence, this: what is the foundation? Quiero explicarle el que es la raíz, que es la fundación. Of Torah. ¿Cuál es el fundamento de la Torah? Why did God give him a Torah? ¿Por qué nos dio la Torah? And then he used the term faith. What does it mean to be even a Jew? Y luego habla acerca de la fe. Que you see, what, what most people are doing, they jump into the details. La mayoría de las personas tratan de seguir los detalles Without understanding the big picture. sin entender el cuadro completo. And they end up falling down because they miss the big picture. Y después terminan cayendo porque perdieron la visión completa. 
So what does it mean? Two things I want you to take away. God is calling Moses. He's calling you today. Because he wants to deal with the root of your faith. Because if the root is healed, so will be the branches. So whether to try taking him to Shulchan Aruch and Halacha and do that, he said, no, 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 Moses, let me explain to you as the remnant, as the leader, the big picture. So the book of Vayikra, holistically, it's a book that comes in to teach us how to renew our root. And you heard us they say Bahu and we say Bahu three times a day. Why? Because the constant renewal of the roots is something we have to do every day, every moment of our life. We cannot just say, I've been there, I've done that. Porque la renovación de nuestra raíz es algo que sucede todos los días de nuestra vida. No podemos decir lo hizo una vez y ya, sucede todo el tiempo. Sometimes Christians, I go to Christian churches here and there sometimes. I ask them, did you celebrate Passover? They say, we already done that. Been there, done that, it's a check mark. Be careful. This is not some check mark, honey do list from your wife. God wants to renew the old things that you're doing again and again. This way you understand, get a full understanding of what you're doing. So he's pulling Moses aside. To teach him the very core para enseñarle el verdadero fundamento of the exodus del exodo have you ever stopped and asked yourself the question se ha preguntado esto i would imagine that 90 95 percent of the people here were not raised in judaism quizás pudiera suponer yo que la mayoría de los que estamos aquí no fuimos criados en judaísmo did you stop and ask yourself the question how did i get here Maybe it's a time that you need to stop yourself ask yourself the question, why God brought me out of whatever he brought me out for this day, for this moment. God, what is the big picture here? And there's a piece of Moses, I believe, that found inside each and every one of us that trying to speak to us today. So you ask the question now. What is the big picture? What is it that God trying to single out and tell him what God is telling him? Listen to this. Rabino Bahia continues and he says, He says, The very fact, listen to this, this is amazing. El mero eso, the very fact that God called out to a prophet established the truth of three foundations, foundational articles about the faith of Judaism. El hecho de que Dios cale a un profeta establece la verdadera. Do you understand what Vaikra mean? He's not just giving Moses the glory. He's telling him, I'm going to teach you what it's meant to be Jewish. So that you can teach the people. Do you see Chinese food mentioned? Do you see Gefilte fish mentioned? Is that what our faith in Judaism is? Is it a social club? Sadly, if you go to many synagogues, especially here in America, that's what it's meant to be Jewish. It's a social country club. That is not what it means to be Jewish. And that's not what it means to return back. And I want to say, especially to the Sephardim among us, come closer to Luis. It's even more important for you to get in and understand the big picture and not to lose the details, because if you lose the, the big picture, you are not going to be successful. 
entre con todo de lleno y a, de, todos los detalles y que no pierda el panorama completo tampoco. Vaikra have three meanings. Tres significados tiene Vaikra. And they covering the past. Y cubren el pasado. The present. El presente. And the future. Y el futuro. And I, that's why I show you the pictures of all the phones, okay? Por eso le mostré las fotos de todos los teléfonos. You cannot have a future without the present and without the past, no, beloved. No puede tener un futuro si no tiene un presente y si no ha tenido un pasado. Number one. Número uno. The first thing that God is established with motion is to believe in the creation of the universe out of nothing but God alone as of our creator. This is very important that all of us understand He is reminding Moses who is the Lord of this journey. Le está recordando a Moisés quién es el Señor de esta jornada. He is reminding him of Genesis 1:1, Bereshit bara Elohim. Le está recordando de Genesis 1:1, Bereshit bara Elohim. The second foundation that is being established by Moses, by by God through Moses. El segundo fundamento que se está estableciendo aquí con Moisés. Is the Torah. Es la Torah. The giving of the Torah to the Jewish people and the renewal of the world. I want you to underline those words. The renewal of the world. La regalo de la Torah para el pueblo judío y la renovación del mundo y sobresalte. Why did God give the Torah? ¿Por qué les dio la Torah? So that the world will be renewed. Para que el mundo pudiera ser renovado. The entire world is called a tabernacle. Todo el mundo se llama un tabernáculo. So here he is establishing the remembrance for Moses. Moses, here's why I gave you Torah. Así que está recordando a Moisés. We as Jews forgetting sometimes what God is giving us Torah. Como judíos se nos olvida todo el tiempo por qué. Why did God give the Jewish people Torah? Para qué Dios le dio al pueblo judío la Torah? To renew the world, to rectify the world, to do a tikkun for the world. Para rectificar el mundo, hacer una restauración del mundo. Most of the Gentiles who are coming to learn Torah. A ver los gentiles que vienen a aprender Torah. Have no idea why they're coming to learn Torah. No tienen idea de por qué están viniendo a aprender. I come to learn Torah because I want to learn Hebrew. It's cool. It's fun. Porque quiero aprender hebreo, piensa uno. No. Porque está chido. The Torah is a tool. No, la Torah es una herramienta. To fix the world. Para reparar el mundo. Hearing what I'm telling you, if you want to come back to your roots of the faith, number one, you have to acknowledge God is the creator of all things. Number two, which represents the present, He is giving you a way to create, to, to rectify the garden that has fallen. Número dos que representa el presente, le da una oportunidad, una manera de rectificar la caída del jardín del Edén. Which is called the Torah. Eso se llama la Torah. And then number three. Número tres. The belief in the resurrection of the dead. El, la creencia en la resurrección de los muertos. Excuse me, when is the resurrection of the dead going to take place? ¿Cuándo va a suceder eso? When Messiah come. Cuando Mesías venga. He want Moses to know that there is a resurrection. Quiere que Moisés sepa que va a haber una resurrección. And then many of you today are starting your journey. I'm telling you something. The one three things you have to know is the foundation of your walk from this day forward. Y muchos de ustedes que están empezando su caminar tienen que aprender estos tres fundamentos. Is that number one, God is sovereign. Dios es soberano, número uno. Number two, He is giving us a Torah. Número dos, nos ha dado una Torah. To rectify everything and then number three that Mashiach is coming in the last days if you got those three things you can now start working on the details listen to what it says this three foundation of Judaism estos tres fundamentos del judaísmo. Beloved, I'm telling you this today because many of you might fall to the wrong places. Don't. Lo estoy diciendo porque muchos de ustedes pueden caer en el lugar equivocado. No lo hagan. Those are becoming Moses' personal cell phone. No se convierta en el celular personal. The past, the present, the future. You cannot talk about the future of coming of Mashiach without knowing the past. 
No puede estar empezando a hablar del futuro de la vida del Mesías si no conoce ni siquiera el pasado. Today we welcome a new Sefer Torah to the community. Hoy trajimos una comunidad nueva. But how can we talk about the new Sefer Torah without talking about those who died in the Holocaust for the very first Sefer Torah? Antes de que podamos recibir la Torah nueva, primero tuvimos que recordar los que murieron para que pudiéramos tener la Torah anterior. Recently somebody wrote me and they told me, Rabbi Shapiro, you teach so much from the Torah. Alguien me escribió una vez y me dijo, usted habla demasiado de la Torah. How can you talk about the apostolic? How can we talk about the new covenant if we don't speak about the past? ¿Cómo podemos hablar de los apóstoles y del nuevo pacto si no conocemos? Now I want to make sure that you understand what I'm telling you today. Quiero que usted entienda algo. We do not live in the past. No vivimos en el pasado. No we live in the future. Tampoco vivimos en el futuro. We live in the present. Vivimos en el presente. But part of living in the present, part of living in Iom in today. Parte de vivir en el presente del día de hoy. Mean that you are sensitive for the big picture of the past and you looking for the things to come as Apostle Paul is saying. Significa que usted es sensible acerca de las cosas que pasaron y está mirando hacia adelante de las cosas por venir. And I love what Rabbi Nubachia is telling us today. Friend, this is the secret of hearing God's voice. Y me encanta lo que Rabbi Nubachia nos está diciendo. Este es el secreto de oír la voz de Dios. You need a color ID. How do you know to identify it's God? Necesita poner un identificador. God will never call you. God will never call you. Listen to me. Unless the call has to do with the present, connected to the past, to the Torah, and have an implication on the future. Do we know why? Because God is outside time and space. Porque Dios está fuera del tiempo y espacio. And God sees the continuum of time, past, present, future, as one. Y para él la continuidad del tiempo presente, pasado, futuro es como uno solo. Therefore he said to Moses, he said, Moses, you need to make sure that the action that you guys are taking in building Mishkan and going to the Exodus, Exodus will affect the future. Le está diciendo, mira, tienes que darte cuenta que todo esto que estás haciendo de construir el Mishkan y pasar por el Éxodo va a repercutir en el futuro. Some of us are coming to the Messianic movement, if I may be blunt with you. Muchos venimos al movimiento mesiánico. Oh, I'm coming, I'm congregating you. Y venimos aquí muy contentos. You're stuck in the present. Y luego nos quedamos atorados ahí. En el But you need to ask the question, how what I do here today, here and now, how is it going to affect the future? Y tenemos que preguntarnos, ¿cómo es que lo que estoy haciendo ahorita va a afectar el futuro? And even if I can be even more blunt, how is it going to affect the coming of the Messiah? Y más allá, ¿cómo va a afectar la venida del Mesías? Oh, Rabino Shapiro, you want to tell me that I can affect the coming of the Messiah? Sign me up right now, hermanos. Usted me está diciendo que yo puedo afectar la venida del Mesías? Fírmeme ahorita mismo, sí. Those who cannot look for the future and not sensitive to the past. Si usted no puede ver el futuro y no puede ser sensible a lo del pasado tampoco. And yes, I say this. Yo digo esto, sí. The past pasado. represent Judaism. Representa judaísmo. If we reject Judaism, si rechazamos el judaísmo, we represent, we, we, we reject the call of God. Rechazamos el llamado de Dios. But if we stay in the past, and we just convert to Orthodox Judaism, so we lose the future of the coming of Mashiach. And that's why Rabbi Nubachia says, listen to this, the three foundations of Judaism are connected from the beginning of time. Praise be to God. To get within what is called time. You know what God is doing when he's calling him into the tent of meeting? Do you understand what God is doing? He said, I'll tell it to you in a simple language that we can all understand. He says, Moses, I know you have trouble in this world. Remember Moses has 600 Jews on his back. Tenía toda esa cantidad de judíos en sus, en sus Do you know what it's like to carry 600, 600 Jews? ¿Sabe qué cosa es 
You got two Jews, you have 20 opinions. You got 600 Jews. Can you imagine? Listen, Moses is not any different than us. He is already thinking about his retirement house in Miami Beach. Moses is done. Moses says, I'm done with this. So he said, come on, come on, Moses. You are losing the big picture, Moses. So here is what I'm going to do for you, Moses. I am going to take you outside yourself and this is something that we all have to pray for. You know, in 2020, I almost died. I lost my voice 100%. And then I had to have surgery and another surgery. And every day I wanted to quit the ministry. And the only voice that I can hear. Because the present was so bleak, it was so horrible. What about the future? ¿Qué tal el futuro? What about those who went before you? ¿Qué tal esos que vinieron antes? And God would not let me give up. Y él no me dejó renunciar. If I would give up, there wouldn't be a Torah here today, bro, to be all frank with you, sí. because I wouldn't have brought it, because I would have quit. Si yo hubiera renunciado, ustedes no hubieran recibido esta Torah nueva hoy, porque yo ya no estuviera trabajando haciendo nada. But I didn't quit. Pero no renuncié. And you will not quit. Y usted tampoco va a renunciar. And the only reason he listen to me, it's not about just quitting, it's about having the conviction on the way the remnant coming out. No se trata solo de no renunciar, sino acerca de tener esa convicción en la manera en que el remanente. Those of you are descended of Sepharad in the room. Todos los que son descendientes de Sepharditas. You are just simply continuing the journey of the Sepharadim from 500 years ago. Solamente están continuando la jornada de los Sepharditas de hace 500 años. And if you quit. Si usted se rinde, you bury your descendants forever. You bury their name and you bury the descendants forever. Quitting is not an option. But the spirit is willing and the flesh is weak as it says. So how, how can I go through this and not to quit but do things through the spirit? Because if you do them all through the flesh you will surely fail. So he's bringing him to the tent of meeting. And he show him this thing and he says, Moses, I'm going to show you time. Do you remember Moses standing just outside the land? Do you remember later on? Deuteronomy chapter 3, Beit Hanan. Remember? And he says, I see the Lebanon. Wait a second. Why does this Torah tell us that he see the Lebanon? Why does it say, Moses see Jerusalem? Why Lebanon? The word Lebanon in Hebrew comes from the Hebrew word Lavan. White. He sees already the temple being established. He sees the temple, the Beit Hamikdash established. Because the word temple, temple in Ibu Lavan is, is the word Lebanon. Because he was able to acquire the lands porque está, fue capaz de adquirir el lente of the future del futuro. and that's what Paul tell us ¿Vale in, the, in Ephesians ¿Vale dice Pablo, el libro de we're not laboring for this city but for the city to come no estamos trabajando por esta ciudad sino la ciudad por venir beloved our return has to be a return that we understand the future and we remain sensitive to the past don't begin with the Shiva Shuvu nuestro retorno tiene que ser un retorno tal que todo el pasado tenga sentido para poder alcanzar lo que está por delante. So look what it says here in the text. It says, it says, uh, it says, finally an event which will occur at the conclusion of the accepted meaning of the concept of time. He's showing the end game. He's showing the final finish line. 
Le está mostrando una meta que va a ocurrir en el último de los tiempos. Le está mostrando la meta. Do you have the finish line? Tiene usted esa meta. And let me give you the finish line. Le voy a decir cuál es. Revelation chapter 7. Apocalipsis capítulo 7. Every nation, every tribe, every tongue. Toda nación, toda tribu, toda lengua. They hold the lulavim. Tendrían los lula. Because it's the first of Sukkot. La fiesta de Sukkot. And they're dancing with Mindy Seta. Y están ahí. Right, Mindy. We're going to dance, right? Están con Mindy. It's going to be amazing. Va a ser increíble. Don't lose sight of the things to come because the present look like it. You have to have the future phone. No pierda el enfoque de las cosas que vienen por delante por estar mirando solamente aquí lo que tiene. But look what Rabbi Bachia is telling us here, beloved. Mira lo que está más adelante. Fíjese lo que el rabino. Each one of these three doctrines. Cada una de estas tres doctrinas. The doctrine of the past. La doctrina del pasado. Or the understanding of the past. O el entendimiento. And I'm starting to tell you something. If you reject the past, if you reject Judaism. Si usted rechaza el pasado, si rechaza el judaísmo. You are rejecting the phone call of God. Está rechazando esa llamada de Dios. If you reject the present, si rechaza el presente, which is called Torah, lo que es la Torah, and the fixing of the world, y el reparar el mundo, we are rejecting what God wants us to do now. Está rechazando lo que Dios le quiere que haga ahorita. And if you reject the future, y si rechaza el futuro, that's the worst one of all. Eso es lo peor. You reject the coming of the Messiah. Rechaza la venida del Mesías. Look what he's saying. The reason he showed all three to Moses, the past, the present, the future, at the same time, is for a purpose. Le mostró las tres cosas a Moisés, el presente, el pasado, el futuro, con un propósito. Each one of these foundations, Rebbe Bachia says, has a decisive influence on the next one. Unbelievable. Cada una de estas decisiones tiene una inferencia en lo que sigue adelante. You want to fix the future of the world? ¿Quiere arreglar el futuro del mundo? Go and learn about the history. Aprenda un poco de la historia. Attain Torah. Obtenga la Torah. And start to build the world. Y empieza a construir el mundo. And in that, you're going to affect the future. Y en realidad va a afectar el futuro. Stop reading the Bible. Deja de leer la Biblia. Stop reading the Bible like a bingo book. It's not a bingo book. Fuera un libro de bingo. No es eso. The time and space, all those things are subject to change. El tiempo y el espacio, todas esas cosas están sujetas a. Look at this slide. It depends upon us, beloved. It depends upon what we do. Depende de nosotros, de lo que nosotros hacemos. The question is, are we willing to connect the past and the present and the future together? Ahora estamos. Somos dispuestos para conectar el pasado, el presente y el futuro juntos. And here Rabbi Bachia concludes, this is just a life changing thing Mira to me. Mira como Rabino Bachia concluye con esto. Para mí esto es transformado. And especially for you, Sfaradim and Nusim, if you understand your past. Si usted tiene su pasado. And a lot of people come to me, I get the call three times a week. Tres veces a la semana alguien me va a llamar. Oh hermano. Me dice, oiga. I am the Beb, Neb, 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 Nusim. Yo soy hijo de tal y tal y tal, Nusim. I say, okay, you're Bnei Nusim. How much you know about Judaism? ¿Qué tanto sabes de Judaísmo? Oh, hermano, I need to learn. Need to aprender. Okay, come to Yeshiva Tshuvu. Come. Okay, ven. Apúntate. I'll help you. I'll help you. Oh, hermano, no, no, I don't have time for this. No, pero es que no tengo tanto tiempo. What good does it do if you recognize the past? Qué bien te hace si no si reconoces el pasado. And you don't do anything about it in the present. No haces nada por ello en el presente. Do you hear what I'm telling you? Understanding the past. Entendiendo el pasado. Mean that you have the burden of the present. Usted tiene la carga del presente. To prepare to the future, the coming of the Messiah. Para prepararse para la futura venida del Mesías. So we say the prediction made on the prophet. Testify to the existence of God, who supervised the universe. Such as that is the beginning. That's number one. Remember, there is God. Es el principio, la predicción por un profeta de Dios de lo que pasa. Remember what our starting point. Recuerdas dónde empezamos? There is a God in the world. Hay un Dios en el mundo. Anybody have any problem with that? ¿Tiene problema con eso? Well, you do. ¿Qué hace ahora? You have a big problem believing that there is a God in the world. Tiene un gran problema usted creyendo que hay. Do you want me to prove you why you have a big problem believing that there is God in the world? Le voy a decir por qué tiene un gran problema. Listen to what Abinu Bachia said. How did he define 
this statement there is a God in the world. Mira lo que nos dice el rabino Bajia acerca de ello. He said, believing that there is a God in the world, that's the beginning. El creer que hay un Dios en el mundo. Meaning, meaning that you believe in something called in Hebrew supervision. Significa que usted cree en que hay una supervisión. Which is control, which is implied. Part of the term supervision is control. What does that que mean? Tiene que ver con control. ¿Qué significa eso? Which means that the universe had the beginning and it did not precede the supervisor. Quiere decir que el universo tuvo un inicio y no va más allá. There de is a supervisor Hay un supervisor who created the world. Que creó el mundo. Mean that there is a supervision in the world. Lo que significa que hay una supervisión en el mundo. What does it mean? Significa it means that everything that is happening in the world que todo lo que pasa en el mundo is under the eyes of a supervisor. Está bajo los ojos de un supervisor. Rabbi Shapiro, get off call. Oh, Rabbi Shapiro, please pray against the COVID-19. Y me hablan y me dicen, ay, Rabino, ore por mí, ore en contra del COVID. Why would I, why would I pray against the COVID-19? Porque yo iba a orar en contra del COVID. What a dumb and idiotic thing it is to do. Qué cosa tan tonta. When God itself said, Cuando Dios mismo dijo, I am the creator of all light and I am the creator of all darkness. Yo soy el que creo la luz y la oscuridad. And I am the creator of all good and I am the creator of all evil. Yo creo todo el bien y yo creo I am God that does all those things. Didn't he say this? Yo soy Dios que hace todas esas cosas. A person believes that there is God in the world, beloved. Alguien que cree que hay un Dios en el mundo. Cannot live his life in fear. No vivir su vida en temor. He cannot live his life in doubt. No puede vivir su vida en la duda. In these next days, the days are coming ahead of us, many will fear, many will doubt, because they don't have the phone about the future or the past. They don't understand those things. They just live now. En los días que vienen por delante, muchos van a tener miedo y van a tener duda, porque no entienden, no entienden lo que pasó atrás ni lo que viene por delante, no saben ni qué está pasando. But you believe Pero usted cree that there is a supervisor. que hay un supervisor who control the string a man can I hear a man come on do you believe that or are you so fearful for what's going to happen with Putin or with Shmutin or with Ukraine or are you that fearful but Rabbi Shapiro you have, have nuclear weapons that are aiming right now at us and who is the Lord over everything who is Lord God he is Lord Adonai who Amelech come on people of God Seeing that the universe was created by a creator, listen to this. Así que si sabemos que el universo who continually creado, watching the world, por alguien que continuamente supervisa it el makes mundo, sense that the Torah should be given to the people at some point in order for the Torah and its observance to guarantee that at the end of time people could receive a reward for observing the precepts. Entonces solamente tiene sentido el darse cuenta que la Torah fue dada en un tiempo para que la gente pueda practicarla y en el futuro entienda los preceptos. Almost done, almost done. What you going to do when Mashiach comes? That's all what we do, study Torah all day. Casi terminamos. ¿Qué va a hacer cuando venga el Mesías? Nos va a enseñar Torah todo el día entero. Listen. Escuche. We have to get our spiritual energy a little bit, huh? Estamos a agarrar esa energía espiritual. Some of you look like you hit by a truck or something. My goodness. Algunos parece que se van a dormir. Take a deep breath. We need those phones. If there is a supervisor, si hay un supervisor and a supervisor gives us a Torah, el supervisor nos dio una Torah, which means there's going to be a reward. Hallelujah. Decir que va a haber una Do you observe the Torah? Usted observa la Torah. Let me tell you, there is no observance of Torah. Mire, no hay ninguna observancia de la Torah. If one does not believe si usted no cree that when Mashiach comes, we'll observe Torah. Vamos a cumplir la Torah. If you don't believe when Mashiach comes, we observe Torah. There's no reason for Torah to begin with. That you're stuck in the present. Si usted no cree que cuando Mesías venga todos vamos a practicar la Torah, entonces ni para qué existe la Torah. Usted But Torah. there is, and here Rabbi Bachia concludes. He said, no, there is a future with the Torah. Pero nos dice Rabbi Bachia, hay you un see con how Torah. the past, how the present, and how the future, they're all connected. Mira cómo está conectado pasado, presente y futuro. You see, Moses does not understand that what he is doing in the wilderness. 
Moisés no entiende lo que está pasando en el desierto. It's affecting me. No sabe que lo que está pasando Think allá me afecta me. a mí. My family came from Iraq from Baghdad. Mi familia llegó de Irak. How did they get there? ¿Cómo llegaron ahí? Because there was some really brave soul. Porque había un alma muy valiente. His name is Itzhak Shapira. Su nombre es Itzhak Shapira. May his memory be blessed. Que su memoria sea bendita. It's my grandfather. Es mi abuelo. Who decided to answer the call of God in Lech Lecha and put diamond in the back of his shoes and leave everything and come illegally to the land of Israel. Do you stop and think about it? That's the past. What would it happen if he didn't come? ¿Qué hubiera pasado si él no viene? He wouldn't be brave enough to cross over. What would happen? Si no hubiera tenido el coraje de atravesar el desierto. I wouldn't be here today, brothers and sisters. Yo no estaría aquí con ustedes. Somebody crossed over. Alguien pasó al otro lado. So that I will be able to be born and ultimately talk to you today about the future. Para que yo pudiera haber nacido y venir aquí y hablarle a ustedes acerca del futuro. Our present today, beloved, matter. Nuestro presente hoy, amigos, importa. It's going to matter for your children and for your grandchildren, beloved. Va a importar para sus hijos y para sus nietos. And it's going to matter for the salvation of the house of Israel. Y va a importar para la salvación de la casa de Israel. And here he's saying, hey, he brought Moses to the tent to remind something to Moses. Y aquí dice, trajo Moisés a la tienda para enseñarle algo. That there is going to be a period of ultimate and undisturbed delight. Que va a haber un periodo de to be ushered de una regocijo que se va a ser traído. Yeshua is returning soon. Yeshua va a venir pronto. And he is going to bring peace because he is the Prince of Peace. Don't lose it. Él es el príncipe de la paz. No pierda eso de vista. And here it's in the dead on this dead on resurrection. He is reminding Moses already that there's going to be a resurrection to the dead. What an amazing thing! What a concept! Y desde ese entonces le está recordando a Moses que va a haber una resurrección de los muertos. Qué concepto tan interesante. You see, some people they they just usually Christians. Yeah, y mucha gente, principalmente. And I have nothing against Christian. I love Christian. No tengo nada en contra de ellos. But everything is about. Can I be raptured? Can I get out of here? Pero me ya no voy a ir rato, ya no voy de aquí. And in the end of the day, what are us Jews saying? Y en la final del día, ¿qué decimos los judíos? The exact opposite. Todo lo contrario. Put me in coach. Póngame a mí, métame a mí. Who is right? Those who want to get out or those who want to be in? ¿Quién está bien? Los que ya quieren escapar de todo o los que quieren entrarle al trabajo? We need to be bold. Necesita ser valiente. Put me in, coach. Apunta a mí, coach. Meta en el juego. That I can join you. Para que yo pueda unirme con usted. In the days ahead, hallelujah. Los días adelante. This is important. We cannot just live in the future. No podemos solamente vivir en el futuro. Remember back to the future. Recuerda la película esa, ¿verdad? You going back to the fifties? Regresa a los cincuenta. And then go to like five hundred years later. No, regresa a unos. And then go to the present. This is what we need to be. We need to be across time and space. And in order to do that, we have to possess one thing. To use this time and space, and for that we have to have one thing with us. And here we use this term, Kriya, Vayikra, Vayikra. He uses this term, Kriya, Vayikra. And listen to this. This is amazing. Isaiah forty-eight twelve. Mira en Isaías 48, 12. He says, "Listen to me, O oh, Jacob. Look at this. Escúchame, O oh, Jacob. Israel, who I have called. Israel. Jacob, O oh, Jacob, Israel, who I have called. A quien yo he llamado. And what God says? ¿Qué dice Dios? I am He. Yo soy él. I am the first. Yo soy el primero. And I am the last. Yo soy el último. Do you notice that? I am is the present. I am is the present. First is the past. First is the past. And last is the end. Last is the final. God is your past. Dios es su pasado. Present. Presente. And He is future. Y es su futuro. Aleluya. So how do we answer this phone today? ¿Cómo contestamos esa llamada hoy? How do we attend this big picture? 
¿Cómo podemos ver el cuadro completo? I know today is easy. It's easy. Ahorita está fácil, ¿verdad? We receive Torah, everybody's happy. Nos llegó la Torah, estábamos muy contentos. We dancing, we do cha cha, everything good. Bailamos y cha 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 y todo. But about tomorrow? Pero mañana qué? I'm willing to wager when Yeshiva come, we'll see like 30% of the people. Casi puedo apostar que mañana cuando venga el día de estudio va a haber la mitad. Because, you know, Vamos a ver. Listen. Escuche. Remember this word. Recuerda estas palabras. Vaika. Vaika. I don't know if you can see the screen right now. Puede ver en la pantalla. The yakar part. La parte de yakar. Is the grandiose part. Es la parte grande. It's the part that everybody loves. Es la parte que todo el mundo le gusta. The festival and the feast and the great things. Festival, la comida y todo eso bonito. But when you open the Torah, what do you notice on the letter Aleph? Pero cuando abres la Torah en esa porción. It is a miniature letter. Que mira la letra Aleph. Está muy chiquita. Now let me flip on, on what I said to you earlier. Déjame acerca de lo que dije hace rato. As you attain the big picture, mientras usted obtiene la panorama completo, you now need to find the little Aleph. Tiene que encontrar la Aleph pequeñita. Now you become observant. Y ahora se lo Dance when you look at the jot and to the tittles of the Torah as Messiah commanded us. Ahí es cuando usted mira en la jot y en la tittles de la Torah como el Mesías. A lot of people they start trying to find the Aleph in front of, of finding Vayikra. You follow that? Mucha gente trata de encontrar la Aleph en vez de encontrar el Vayikra. ¿Ve no. eso? Why are you here? ¿Por qué está aquí? To connect the past, the present, and the future. Para conectar el pasado, el presente. Vayakar is the why. Vayakar es el porqué. The little Aleph. La pequeña Aleph. Is the how you do it. Es cómo lo hace. Precept upon precept, line upon line. Precepto sobre precepto, línea sobre línea. And that's why you take the Aleph, the Hebrew letter Aleph. Por eso la palabra, la letra Aleph. It's found in the word Aluf, the champion, the Messiah. Se encuentra la palabra Aluf, significa el campeón. If you find the Messiah, se encuentra el Mesías. Beloved, listen to me. If you find the Messiah, se encuentra el Mesías. Escuche. Will allow you, and he will work with you, and will use you to fill all the gaps of constructing the the tabernacle in the final details, in the small details. Le va a permitir, le va a facilitar, le va a dar la habilidad para que pueda construir el tabernáculo, incluso los detalles más pequeñitos. But if you spiritualize everything, pero si usted espiritualiza todo, the Aleph will never be found. Nunca va a encontrar la Aleph. So how do we attain the Aleph? Entonces, ¿qué hace? ¿Cómo tenemos esa Aleph? There is a big mystery here. Hay un gran misterio aquí. It's the last thing I will say. Esto ya es lo último que voy a decir. God is calling him uh, from the tent of meeting. Dios está llamando a Moisés desde la tienda de reunión. Remember I asked at the beginning the question, who is the one that was calling him? Who is the one who was calling uh, Moses? Recuerda que dice la pregunta al principio, ¿quién es aquel que llamó a Moisés? And although God called him, aunque, although God is the one who called him, aunque Dios es el que le llamó, I have some news for you. Le voy a decir algo. Moses was able to attain the spirit of the past, the present, and the understanding of the future. Moisés pudo entender el espíritu del pasado, presente y futuro. Because he cleaved to somebody else. Porque él de dependió de alguien más. There is somebody else in the story here that is hidden. Hay alguien más en la historia que no, no se ve a simple vista. If you take this term, the tent of meeting in Hebrew, si usted mira este término en hebreo, la tienda de reunión, it's equivalent to the number 156. Equivale al número 156. It's a very important number. Es un número muy importante. Because the number of 156 is the name of a person es el nombre de una persona. Joseph. Es el nombre de Joseph today we need the spirit of Joseph 
estamos en el espíritu de Dios. The spirit of the Messiah. El espíritu del Mesías. In order to understand the past, the present, and the future. Para poder entender esa conexión del pasado. What the rabbis of Israel shockingly are telling us. Nuestros rabinos nos dicen. That when he had the calling. The calling, he actually heard the calling of God. Cuando él escuchó ese llamado de Dios, Moses heard in his ear Moses lo oyó en su oído, the voice of Joseph. La voz de José. Today we need to hear the voice of Joseph. Vamos a escuchar la voz de José. Yeshua is the Messiah, son of Joseph. Yeshua es el Mesías, hijo de José. We cannot categorize him yet, and I use the word yet specifically, as the Messiah, son of David, because he's yet to fulfill everything that Messiah, son of David, will do. He will. Today, the faith, our faith in attaining all of the understanding, is by listening to the voice of Joseph. Para escuchar la voz de Dios. So we talk so much here about returning to Judaism, returning to the root of the faith, and returning to the Jewish root. Why? So that we will be Jewish, those who are not Jewish here? No. So that we will be able to hear the voice of Joseph. Who is an intermediary between Hashem? and the people of Hashem so that we will be able to understand the sovereignty of God even understand the present the tools of God the Torah of God to repair the world the Torah is the tool But Yeshua is the instruction manual. Pero Yeshua es la instrucción. You see, they work together. Mira cómo funcionan juntos. Ultimately to give us. Para finalmente darnos. An hope for future. Un futuro y una esperanza.